Hello, everybody, and welcome to Gene's Reviews. Reviews from a regular day, where I do trailer reactions, I react to YouTube videos, I review YouTube channels, occasionally I'll review a movie, but really, I just do whatever the hell I want. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Gene's Reviews. Reviews from a regular dude in my car. Okay, I wanted to talk about something a little bit different today. A lot of you might not know, but I love watching boxing, and I like MMA, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the new Jake Paul fight. It's Jake Paul versus Hasim Rahman Jr. Now, this is the first time that Jake Paul's going to be fighting an actual boxer. Jake Paul's record is 5-0. and oh, And this guy, I think, is 11-1. and one. He lost his very last fight against Tommy Morrison's son. So that's, I'm sure, no slouch if you know who Tommy Morrison is. And I've seen video of his son. His son looks and sounds just like him. But anyways... I wanted to talk a little bit about this because I think I really want this Asim Rahman Jr. to knock him out. I want him to beat him so bad because I think Jake Paul needs to be humbled. But I think he's got the card stacked against him big time. I don't know if any of you have been following or following it or not. But Asim Rahman Jr. is normally a heavyweight. Jake Paul is a cruiserweight. So most of Asim's fights he's been like 220 he was up as heavy as 250 pounds at one time they put a rehydration clause in his contract jake paul did and that basically means the night before the fight he can't weigh any more than 215 pounds or i'm assuming they'll call the fight off now i'm not sure on that but i'm assuming that's what will happen and then the next weigh-in is the fight night, the next night. And it's not until 6 at night. The fight's around 9, 9.30. And uh, on fight night, he can't weigh any more than 205 pounds. So he has to, if he's at 215 the night before, he basically has to lose 10 pounds before he can fight. For every one pound that he's over, on fight night, he gets 25% of his purse taken away, up to 50%. So if he comes in at 207 pounds, he'll lose half of his purse right there, which I think is bull crap because he's already getting less than half of the other fighters that have fought Jake Paul, and they aren't real boxers. This guy has a real record. He he's, has 11 and 1, I believe is what it is, and he lost his last fight. That's why I think Jake Paul has picked him. He was also a sparring partner of Jake Paul. And um, I put a link in the description where you can actually see this guy talking about sparring him and stuff like that, and the rehydration clause, and he talks about all of it. But he claims that in the, during the sparring, Jake's people told him, now don't, don't knock him out or anything like that, you know. And also, you can't switch, can't switch to right-handed. This guy's naturally a southpaw. You can't switch. You got to stay at, stay at right-handed. And he also fought Jake Paul with only his, his lead hand in his sparring. So he never used his backhand so I think Jake Paul's bit off more than he can chew I think he's underestimating this guy although losing that much weight this guy's like 220 something right now and this fight's coming I think it's either August 5th or August 6th but he's over 220 right now that's gonna zap a lot of his energy out I think Unless he has really good people working with him. What sucks is the night before the fight, he can't drink any any water at all until after 6 p.m. the next night after his weigh-in. After his second weigh-in. And 
can't really drink a lot of water before the fight or you can cramp up. And everything that's why you see when these boxers they're getting the water in the corner and stuff they're just like basically rinse their mouth out and spit it because they'll cramp up so I don't know how he's gonna do it but I really hope he knocks him the because <laughs> Jake Paul needs to be humbled let me know in the comments down below what you think and uh, now it's time for a joke what does my sex life and a Jake Paul video have in common? Ten minutes of a whole lot of nothing. Oh. Thank you, everybody. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hashtag Mean Gene, all that fun stuff. And if you like this video, tell all your friends. Leave a comment down below. And if you didn't like it, then just shut up. And I will see you next time.